so once again welcome back to my channel jbr online classes okay so here this is the last part from the exercise 2.2 that is part 7 for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there and in this video i'm going to start from sum number 17 so here in sum number 17 if sine then here sine inverse 2 by 3 plus cos inverse x that one equal to here 1 okay that one equal to 1 then find the value of x so first write down here sine inverse 2 by 3 plus cos inverse x now move this sign in the right hand side so it will be here sine inverse 1 and sine inverse 1 means you know that pi by 2 so here sine inverse 2 by 3 plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2 so next one sine inverse 2 by 3 equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse x and the value of pi by 2 minus cos inverse x equal to sine inverse x so by comparing both side here 2 by 3 equal to x and that is your answer now next one some number 18 in 18 1 find the values of here 10 inverse half plus 10 inverse 1 by 3 okay you have to find the value of this one 10 inverse half and 10 inverse 1 by 3 so i hope you know the formula 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y so that is 10 inverse here half plus 1 by 3 here 1 minus half into 1 by 3 that means 1 by 6 so here 10 inverse the upper one is here 5 by 6 lower one also 5 by 6 so it's cancel out so 10 inverse 1 that means pi by 4 so pi by 4 that is your answer now next one number 2 in 18 here cot inverse 2 plus cot inverse 3 so you can change this cot inverse into 10 inverse so the first one will be here 10 inverse half and second one will be also 10 inverse 1 by 3 so again your answer is pi by 4 okay as same as the previous one now next one sum number 19 in sum number 19 here if 10 inverse x here minus 10 inverse y equal to pi by 4 okay and here x y greater than minus 1 then find the value of x minus y minus x y find the value of x minus y minus x y so first here you have to know the value of 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y and the formula is here 10 inverse x minus y by 1 plus x y that is the formula so that one equal to pi by 4 so next line you can write down x minus y by 1 plus x y equal to 10 pi by 4 and 10 pi by 4 equal to 1 that means x minus y equal to 1 multiply with 1 plus x y so that is 1 plus x y so x minus y minus x y that one equal to 1 so that is your answer now next one some number 20 the first one if 10 inverse x equal to pi by 10 for some x belongs to r then find the value of here cot inverse x okay so as here 10 inverse x equal to pi by 10 you have so you can write down here cot inverse x equal to pi by 2 minus 10 inverse x so that means pi by 2 minus pi by 10 and that one equal to here 4 pi by 10 okay 4 pi by 10 that means 2 pi by 5 so cot inverse x equal to 2 pi by 5 that is your answer now number 2 number 2 here sine inverse x plus sine inverse y that one equal to pi by 2 you have to prove that cos inverse x plus sorry you have to find out the value of cos inverse x plus cos inverse y so as you know that sin inverse x means pi by 2 minus cos inverse x so write down here pi by 2 minus cos inverse x and here sin inverse y means pi by 2 minus here cos inverse 
pi by 2 minus cos inverse y okay so that one equal to here pi by 2 so now pi by 2 plus pi by 2 it's pi and then here minus common so cos inverse x plus cos inverse y that one equal to pi by 2 so from this one you can easily find out the value of cos inverse x plus cos inverse y that one equal to pi by 2 as your answer now the third one in sum number 20 here sec inverse x plus sec inverse y that one equal to 2 pi by 3 okay you have to find out the value of cosec inverse x plus cosec inverse y so as you know that here sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x equal to pi by 2 so in the place of sec inverse x you can write down pi by 2 minus cosec inverse x and again pi by 2 minus cosec inverse y and that one equal to 2 pi by 3 okay now again pi by 2 by equal to pi by 2 equal to pi if you common minus so that will be here cosec inverse x plus cosec inverse y and that one equal to 2 pi by 3 minus pi okay so here minus cosec inverse x plus cosec inverse y that one equal to minus pi by 3 minus minus cancel out and your answer is here pi by 3 so now the last one sum number 21 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 21 cos inverse x plus cos inverse y plus cos inverse z equal to 3 pi and now you have to find out the value of this one which is in your right hand side so as you know the principle uh, of this here branches or the domain value of cos inverse suppose cos inverse x so that is lie between 0 to pi okay the value or the domain value of cos inverse x or cos inverse y or cos inverse z anything lie between 0 to pi और यहां पर देखिए आपको दिया हुआ है 3 पाई अब 3 पाई लाने के लिए cos का मैक्सिमम वैल्यू दैट मींस cos इनवर्स cos इनवर्स का मैक्सिमम वैल्यू क्या हो सकता है पाई सो पाई प्लस पाई प्लस पाई तब जाके आपको 3 पाई मिलेगा सो so, इसीलिए हम यहां पर लिख सकते हैं cos इनवर्स x इज इक्वल टू विद पाई देन cos इनवर्स y इक्वल टू आल्सो पाई एंड cos इनवर्स z इक्वल टू आल्सो पाई so that means here x equal to cos pi अब cos pi का value होता है minus 1 so y equal to be minus 1 हो जाएगा z equal to minus 1 आप क्या करेंगे अब यहाँ पर जो value आपको put करना है x to the power 100 दिया हुआ है plus y to the power 100 plus z to the power 100 minus 9 by x to the power 101 y to the power 101 z to the power 101 अब देखिए minus 1 आपको put करना है अगर यहां पर पावर इवन नंबर होगा तो प्लस 1 हो जाएगा पावर ऑड नंबर होगा तो माइनस 1 हो जाएगा सो so, यहां पर माइनस 1 टू द पावर 100 अगेन माइनस 1 टू द पावर 100 एंड लास्ट वन अगेन माइनस 1 टू द पावर 100 देन 9 बाय यहां पर माइनस 1 टू द पावर 101 तो इसका आंसर माइनस 1 ही आ जाएगा यहां पर भी माइनस 1 यहां पर भी माइनस 1 अब यहां पर प्लस 1 प्लस 1 प्लस 1 देन यहां पर 3 बाय माइनस 3 ओके सो यहां पर हो गया 3 अब यहां पर 3 से कैंसिल होगा 9 माइनस माइनस प्लस सो 3 प्लस 3 6 दैट इज योर आंसर